Welcome to the Spy Collection. My name is Anastasios and this time we'll have a look at a document from our collection. This one. This document, once classified as secret, as you can see in the red stamps here and here, was published in November of 1966 and authored by Greek Army Major Nick Papanayotou for the Central Intelligence Service of Greece known as KIP. As it says here, it was for the first branch of the agency responsible for foreign intelligence operations. This document is from the studies office of the first branch and it was titled Lecture about the Warsaw Treaty Organization and Ground Forces of the USSR and Satellite States. Now before we go deeper into this, some information to understand the history at this point at the chip. This was the main intelligence agency of Greece from 1953 and until 1986. The agency was established mainly by the United States CIA and more specifically this person, Greek-American Tom Karamessinis, the first CIA chief of station in Greece and a veteran of the predecessor of the CIA the Office of Strategic Services, OSS. Originally, KIP employed almost exclusively military personnel and until 1964 it was under the full control of the CIA. According to declassified documents, even the salaries of KIP employees were directly paid by the CIA. When this changed in 1964, it resulted in significant friction between the United States and Greece. Actually, in 1966, artillery colonel Nicolas Macarezos was assigned as the chief of the first branch. One year later, in 1967, he, along with two other military colonels, took over the country in the so-called regime of the colonels, which lasted until 1974. Back to our document, what you see is a typical military intelligence report, even for this day. It includes the strategies, the numbers of forces, where they were located and other details of high value to be appropriately prepared and planned for military operations. It's worth highlighting further though that the attached maps, like this one, were created by hand. This is the military areas of the USSR. And then we have org chart of the USSR armies. The last sections of the document are assessments based on the collected intelligence. Before we close this video, I'd like to highlight the period this was compiled for a few reasons. Of course, the summary of the Warsaw Treaty would be relatively easy to do, but everything else? We are talking about the Cold War era, with the Iron Curtain controlling almost every single piece of information in the USSR, yet even small intelligence agencies like the Greek chip were able to find ways to develop such complete military intelligence products. Throughout the document, the intelligence analyst that worked on this did an excellent job protecting the sources and methods used since there is not even a slight reference as to how this intelligence was collected. This document gives us a unique view into the history of the Greek intelligence community and how their Cold War era products looked like. Yet even to this day it's a great example of how to share intelligence while protecting your sources and methods. This report could be the result of spies deep inside Moscow, liaison officers in allied agencies and other means, but we'll never know that based solely on this. Nothing is as it seems.